welcome back to Fay Mojo Homestead. Today I am going to show you what I'm planning to do with my little mini greenhouse. So the intent for the greenhouse obviously is to start seeds, but I have it and it's set up so why not use it for experimentation? I mean if we can grow a little bit more food, I'm going to try it. We did move where we were going to put it. We were going to put it in the woods. I was afraid that it wouldn't get a lot of attention over there because it's not really a place that I like hang out. Um, and it is more shaded than I knew. So we went ahead and moved it next to our chicken coop because it's a place that's in my eyesight always. When I pull in um, from going anywhere, I see it. So it'll remind me to go and do whatever needs to be done in there. You may hear some noise in the background. My son is playing on his little electric tractor. So if you hear that, that's what that is. Um, he ha has been enjoying it all day today. So what we've done is we moved this over by the chicken coop and there's soil right there. So I went ahead and I was digging up the soil. I was debating as to whether I was gonna put, plant things in pots in there or put directly in the soil. Um, the soil is a little more dense so I put in some straw and some rabbit manure. I did decide I'm just gonna go ahead and try to do it in the ground um, because if it's in the ground, that's added warmth and I can protect the plants with straw. I've looked into how to heat a mini greenhouse without using electricity. And one of the things that people have said is to put buckets of water in there and the water will hold the heat or to line it with straw. And as the straw decomposes, it produces heat. So those are some things I'm gonna play around with when it comes to heating it as the, the temperatures drop. But for right now, I just focused on getting some um, organic material and some rabbit manure in the soil so that we could break it up a little bit. There'd be better drainage, be more air circulation, and also there'd be more nutrients for the plant. So let's go see what I've done and I'm gonna plant these. Today I'm planting um, zucchini and squash. I'm planting these because these are two vegetables I can do a lot with meal-wise. So to me, having extra squash and zucchini is great. So as you can probably tell, there are leaves in here that I just left in here because I figured that's added um, nutrients as they break down. There's also hay because when I got the rabbit pellets, there's hay underneath their cages so I just added that to it as well to add more air circulation to the soil. I'm gonna plant in these back corners. I'm planting here because my plan is to try to cut the lower leaves off the stalk and stake them. This is another experiment I want to try for our summer planting. I saw that there was a lot of uh, a lot of people control like the mil the powdery mildew and stuff by cu cutting off all those lower leaves below the blossoms and stocking the plant. So I want to try to do it vertically. So that's my intention. The first one I'll plant is the squash. Both of these need to be planted about an inch and a half or a half an inch to an inch depth. I'm going to do three seeds just because I want to make sure I get a plant growing. So and then I'll thin them out as I need to. So I'm just gonna make a little hole. Okay, now that we've gotten those planted, I'll water them in and I'll give you guys updates to tell you how to show you how they're doing and how they're growing. I'm really excited about this experiment and to just see how it works. Thanks again for joining me today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and be blessed.